Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So in oral pathology, today's session will be dealing with three syndromes, namely Sjogren syndrome, Frey syndrome and plumber Winson syndrome. So we have many syndromes in oral pathology. So this session is just highlighting three syndromes and the coming sessions will be dealing with the further syndromes. So let's see what is Sjogren syndrome, Frey syndrome and plumber Winson syndrome. So we'll start with the first one that is Sjogren syndrome. So it is an autoimmune disease. So we know what is autoimmune disease. The immune, uh, the immune system is acting against our own body cells. Actually, it is supposed to act against the antigens, the foreign bodies, but it is by some error, it is acting against our own body system. So that is autoimmune disease. So the most common striking features of Jogren syndrome is dry eyes and dry mouth. So there is lack of tear and lack of saliva will be present in Sjogren syndrome. That is the most striking feature of Sjogren syndrome. So what happens is the immune system affecting its own cell that is it affects the lacrimal glands and salivary glands. So these glands are supposed to produce saliva and tears. So when it affects these gland there will be improper production of tears and salivary gland so there will be dry eyes and dry mouth and it most commonly associated with rheumatoid so risk factors include age that is 40 years or greater than 40 years it usually diagnosed in this age group that is more than 40 years and women are more prone to have Jogren syndrome compared to men and rheumatic disease is common for people who have Jogren syndrome also to have a rheumatic disease. So rheumatic disease also a risk factor for Sjogren syndrome. And the most common uh, symptoms we already discussed they are uh, like skin rashes, dry cough and most commonly stiffness and swelling. It can have thyroid problems, kidney, liver, lungs, skin, nerves. So most of the organs are affected by these autoimmune diseases. And what are the complications? We know it has problem with production of saliva and ear. So there will be dental cavities. Why? Because the saliva is keeping the mouth clean by its flushing action. When saliva is less there will be more chance of caries and also yeast infection will be there and since it is dry eyes there will be problem with vision so how do we treat this so treatment is very symptomatic we can provide uh, eye drops medications the eye drops are uh, also known as crocodile tears and pilocarpine which is for uh, salivary gland so it improves the saliva and we can uh, suggest the patient to sip water frequently and also use uh, saliva producing uh, chewing gums and uh, such a symptomatic way we can manage this and diagnosis we can diagnose this by saliva flow test silogram schumer tear test so tear test is a special test for uh, counting the tear um, drops and biopsy is another method for Sjogren syndrome. So Sjogren syndrome, the basically you should remember the triad that is dry eyes, dry mouth and rheumatoid arthritis. It is an autoimmune disease which affects lacrimal and salivary glands. Now let's move on to the second syndrome that is Frey syndrome. 
Frey syndrome is also known as auriculotemporal syndrome. Also, another name is Dupuy syndrome. So, what happens is here also it is affecting salivary gland, but it is not an autoimmune disease. Jogren syndrome is an autoimmune disease. This is salivary gland is affected due to a surgery or a trauma or a neck dissection. In that case, the salivary gland and auriculotemporal nerve is affected. And what happens? There will be flushing and gestatory sweating. And where this happens? It is in the preauricular area. When this happens? In response to mastication or salivary stimulus. When we think about a very peculiar food like a lemon or a sore type food, there will be uh, saliva production usually but that time there will be sweating in the preauricular area because the auriculotemporal nerve is damaged so parotid gland and auriculotemporal nerve is damaged by any of the surgeries so this flushing and gestatory sweating will be there in this particular area and also they may have erythema anesthesia and parasthesia regarding Frey syndrome so how do we diagnose we can use minor iodine starch test so we can apply starch and iodine and get this test done for Frey syndrome and treatment we can uh, use botulinum injection and anticholinergic ointments like scopolamine and also surgical interventions so Sjogren syndrome and Frey syndrome it is both affected the salivary glands are affected but here it is autoimmune disease and here it is a trauma to the auricular temporal nerve and parotid gland so both the cases there is problem with saliva here there will be preauricular area flushing and sweating when there is a response to mastication or a salivary stimulus when we think about particular food or such thing there will be sweating in the preauricular area so that is Frey syndrome or Dupuy syndrome or auriculotemporal syndrome and the third syndrome today's session we are discussing about plumber Vincent syndrome it is a very different one not related to these two it is also known as Patterson Kelly syndrome these are the people who reported these uh, syndromes first and it is also known as sideropenic dysphagia so dysphagia we know it is a uh, difficulty of uh, swallowing and why this is happening this is due to the long-term iron deficiency anemia so iron is very much vital nutrient for our body so when this iron is deficient and anemia causes and it lasts for a very longer period it might result a plum plumber wilson syndrome and it has a peculiar triad so what is that triad the anemia dysphagia and esophageal webs so why this esophageal webs there is small and thin growths of tissue partially blocks the foot pipe or esophagus so on the track of esophagus there will be small and thin growths of tissue will be there so this is why the swallowing is difficult or dysphagia is formed the person is not eating properly so there will be weakness and person may have burning mouth glossitis splenomegaly colonychia and all these are associated symptoms with plumber Vincent syndrome and diagnosis is basically by endoscopy blood test and biopsy treatment it is mainly nutritional intervention because it is iron deficiency anemia and nowadays iron deficiency anemia and this plumber Vincent syndrome is uh, quite rare because the nutrients um, interventions or the nutrients deficiency are a uh, little bit not or oh, very much heard and it the complication related to plumber Vincent is squamous cell carcinoma. So
सो टुडे सेशन वाज अबाउट थ्री सिंड्रोम्स वन इज जॉकरन सिंड्रोम फ्रे सिंड्रोम एंड प्लमर विंसन सिंड्रोम सो दिस टू सिंड्रोम्स वर एसोसिएटेड विथ सलाइवरी ग्लैम्स एंड लैक्रमर ग्लैम्स दिस इज अटो इम्यून डिसीज दिस इज अ डिसीज ड्यू टू द ट्रामा टू द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड एंड ऑरिकुलर टेम्परल नर्व एंड दिस इज अ न्यूट्रिशनल डेफिशंसी एंड डेफिशंसी प्लमर विंसन सिंड्रोम so these three are commonly asked question so whatever i put in this board is asked once or twice in the university exam so uh, try to understand the difference between these three so i'll come up with more syndromes in uh, my next sessions thank you